Hey guys, this is Julian of Julian Gray Media. Today we're going to learn how to use some of the more in-depth and advanced techniques for audio routing within Ableton Live. Let's hop over to the studio and get to work. Awesome, so we're here in Ableton. One of the more advanced things that people don't tend to understand is the audio routing within a DAW. Now, um, you might have noticed if we were to group these two audio channels like this, the audio is going to go from this channel into the group and then to the master. That's the typical way that the pro program works. Um, if you don't have it grouped, it's going to go automatically to the master. But let's just say that you want to create an audio channel that gets its audio from one of these channels. This is something we call audio routing, and it's a more advanced technique in Ableton, but nonetheless very easy to understand. So let's just get down right into it right here. This is the pane you're going to be looking at when you get into audio routing and how the audio is running through your DAW. Um, we have the audio from tab. Now this is if you want to take audio from another channel or if you want to take audio from an external source like let's say this microphone I'm using right now. Um, you can see it's monitoring through um, external input 1. Um, it's only coming in through 1 because it's a mono microphone and it's only coming in through the left channel. Um, you can see right here, 1 and 2 is the stereo input uh, for this microphone, or my interface rather, and um, it's only giving me the left channel because this is a uh, mono microphone. You can see right here we can actually um, pick a channel that we draw the audio from and then play it back through. Let's just say that we wanted to collect audio from this channel. Let's just say we have a group here, and we want this channel to be a group of this channel and this group. Now there's no way in Ableton to do this within the group function because you can't group more than one um, group in each other. There's no group hierarchy. Um, so let's just say that you wanted this sound and this sound to be bussed together. We can do that via this. We can go, um, if we put an instrument that is, um, we can do audio 2. Now by default, if the channel is ungrouped, it's going to send the audio to the master channel. Um, but we can change this. We can say we want to send the audio to uh, channel 6. Now anything that plays through here is going to go through channel 6. Now the reason why we can't hear it when we play is because we have monitor off. Monitor off uh, essentially says that it's not going to listen to anything that's playing through it from the audio from tab. Uh, monitor auto is going to select the automatic selection whenever you start playing or whenever there's something coming through it and if you select the monitor in it's always going to be listening through that so if we hit in there we go so now you can hear that um, we can actually select it uh, via this way if we want to do um, something else, like if we wanted to just group this or send this group bus to this audio channel, we can do um, group 3 to this channel and we can hit monitor in and then we can't hear anything currently because we have nothing in it, but if we were playing something it would work. Alternatively we can set to no input and then it works as well. Cool, so that's the basics of channel routing here. We have some more advanced stuff like um, if you want to, you can actually send your sends to a channel. Let's just say that you wanted to make a channel called uh, send sum, and then for whatever reason you wanted to send this reverb back into a channel, you can actually do that by doing audio to send sum and then this channel is going to collect the audio from this channel. And there's a few other things we can do. Uh, we can set the queue, we can set the master out, and we can actually send any of these channels directly out to our interface. And we can do that via external output, and then we can select where we want to send it. So if we want to send it through the um, interface instead of through the master, we can do it that way as well. So let's just say that we have a serum open here. Let's just delete all these channels for confusion purposes and we put a reverb on the master. Now let's do that here. And then we do audio to master. This is the default thing you're gonna hear. It's gonna send the audio from this channel. Or, okay, let's just actually trace this. It's gonna send the MIDI from what we're playing here, which would be this. Actually, you can see it right here. We can say 
MIDI from all ins, which is essentially this. We can also select a MIDI device. Let's just say we wanted to use my keyboard over here. You can't see it, it's off screen, but let's just say we only wanted to use the keyboard. We can do MIDI from keyboard, then it goes into the serum, and then we go audio to, we can select wherever we want to send it. And um, for right now, it's the default, which is the master bus, which has the reverb on it. That's why you're getting all that uh, reverb. Let's do this. Oops. Seems like we, oh, sorry. I selected the MIDI. So now we're collecting MIDI from my keyboard over here and we are sending it through the serum. We're then sending the audio to the master. But if we wanted to send this directly out, we could also do that. So as you notice here, it's sending it to the master, which is going through the Valhalla, which is then going to the master output, which is your sound card. Um, but if we wanted to send it directly to the sound card, we can do that as well. We can select external output and then go to whichever output we used here. So instead of going to the reverb, now we're just going to go out to our sound card. Perfect. It's like magic. So if we also wanted to, we can also add a bus and then we can send it. Let's just say we wanted to send this to the bus channel and then we wanted to monitor in. Let's disable the microphone so we don't get that feedback through. And then um, we can now. It's collecting the MIDI from my keyboard, going through Serum, then going to Audio Channel 2, and then it's going from Audio Channel 2 to the Master, which has that reverb on it, which is double the reverb. So cool, that is advanced audio routing and MIDI routing within Ableton Live. I hope this video helped you out. It's a little bit fast, but um, it's not too hard of a concept to understand, and it's really powerful if you want to start busing your channels and um, doing a lot more with the program than just grouping or using the master channel or sends. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, give it a like. If it didn't, give it a dislike and let me know why in the comments below. Make sure to leave a comment if you want me to cover a topic or a product that you're looking at. Uh, if you have any ideas for future episodes, again, leave them in the comments below. Um, I make a video every Wednesday and Friday, so make sure to subscribe to the channel if this helped you out. And I am Julian of Julian Gray Media, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.